Miss Taylor shows up. I mean, Thea, you're going to be there with me. Yeah. Not that she needs our help. Mm -hmm. But maybe we go on the lookout for her next boyfriend, but I'm just not sure that thing with her and Michael Yaw is going to work out. Not even going to go there. But let's talk about someone else also nominated tomorrow night. The cast of NCIS for favorite drama, Polly Perrette. She started the show for 10 seasons as Abby. She might be one of the most recognized faces in Hollywood, I would say. And the thing that we love about her the most, she's so much more than just an actress. She's devoted to endless charity projects and causes. And it's really what makes her the perfect un-Hollywood Hollywood. Being able to help my charities is the only thing about being famous that I enjoy. The NCIS star, advocate, activist, fundraiser. If someone needs help, Polly just can't say no. She's involved in so many charitable organizations, it's hard to keep track. There's the American Red Cross, the Amanda Foundation Pet Rescue, Hurricane Relief, Children's Hospital. Just two months ago, she joined our show serving Thanksgiving dinner to the military families. And Hope Garden, a homeless shelter for women and children, was able to keep its doors open after Polly took to Twitter and asked her nearly 400,000 followers to help raise the $2.8 million it needed to stay afloat. Then she invited the hosts of Animal Planet's tank to install a 180,000-gallon aquarium at the shelter for the children. Oh, my God. Look at your new home. Polly's passion for social causes is spreading. She hooked up with Daryl DMC McDaniel for this music video that benefited her foster children's charity and her no hate campaign. And on the importance of voting, he was demonstrating how to fill in the ballot. I am using a Sharpie because it's that important. We love her. You know what? She is an amazing lady with a huge heart. We are all big fans of hers. And actually, she's right here in our newsroom right now. Come on up, Polly. I know you're very sad because you're BFF, Kate Fraser. Kevin Fraser is in so much trouble. I can't believe he's not here. He invites me down here and then he leaves. Well, what? I've got good news for you. We have the technology. Kevin! Satellite, Mr. Fraser. Uh, here's my thing, Polly. There was no way I would ever let you come down to our newsroom and not at least have a chance to see me. Uh, uh, well, I can't. It's, it's nice to see you. Better to hug you, but good to see you. I do want to tell everybody out there in the world, you know, Polly and I have been friends for a long time. She is one of the most un-Hollywood people I know. Very genuine, down to earth. And, Polly, how do you manage to just remain so genuine and real? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Hollywood people do. I don't know. I, I just said... Uh, I love my job. I'm extremely grateful. And then I just kind of like, you know, hang out with my dogs and and I work for like 30 charities. That's what I do in my free time. <laughs> you know, we love your character, Abby. On, I love on Abby too. We love Abby. Tell us what's going on with Abby this season. There's there's a, prizes? There's a, yeah, there actually is. Um, because uh, coming up in February, this, the first time we go into Abby's background, and I actually have this wonderful actress named Brighton plays Abby as a little girl. So we get to see Abby as a child. So, so, she's amazing. So good. Very cool. So she's actually done that. I don't need for you to see all this is little mini-me. Fell in love with her. Like, inside the world. Very cute. Hey, I'm Polly. I knew you were coming down, so I, I wasn't going to let you come to the set without me hooking you up. And I know of this special place here in New York, uh, Right in Hell's Kitchen in the theater district, it is called, well, it's your bake shop, but it's named after your mom. My mom, my mom passed away in 2002, and me and my two best friends have a southern bakery right in the middle of Manhattan on 49th and 8th, named it for my mom. Her name was Donna Bell. It's Donna Bell's Bake Shop. Guess what? We had some flown in from New York. Yes! 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 Michael Yo with the Donna Bell Biscuits. Kevin, thank you. Awesome. Paul, I am so sorry I couldn't be there. But well, thank you I'm for mad. coming by. I love you. Don't worry. We'll be watching you on TV tonight. And by the way, enjoy the Donna Bell's biscuits. Your mom was a beautiful, elegant woman. And she could make yes, some biscuits. We'll save a biscuit for you, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're going to sit here and stuff our faces. But before we head to the commercial, Polly, by the way, congratulations, NCIS. Number one drive on TV after 10 years. Yeah, and, and, and 200 it. countries and 20 different languages around the world. 10 years. Amazing. On the way out, let's take a look at a funny clip from tonight's show on CBS. Whoa, trippy. Sorry. Here's a little McGee found. It's my spyglasses for the first time I'm going to recover.